seven reasons why Darwin X Zero sucks. Reason number one, you can't manipulate your track history. In my FX book and FX Blue, it's quite easy to hide drawdowns. You just stop publishing for a while. And once the drawdown is over, start publishing again and ta-da, magically, no drawdowns. You can add filters and limit the time the account started. So you can only show the profitable period. You can add money to account. So if you're about to hit a margin call, um, you, your account will now survive with the extra money. And then afterwards, you can withdraw your money again. This is also, you can have a multi-year track record, especially if you're planning to sell an expert advisor. You can't hide all that in Darwin X Zero. All the drawdowns and the entire history of the account is accessible to the public. So if you want to scam people into buying an expert advisor, don't use Darwin X Zero. Number two reason why Darwin X sucks. You can't see individual trades. In FX Blue and my FX book, each trade is visible to the user, including the profit, the lot size, and when it was opened and when it was closed. I use this data all the time. I download the files to CSV and I have a free tool that I provide to my community that will chart the historical trades for the, you on a chart. So I can then go and dive deeper into the money management, the entries and the exits of a particular strategy. With a Darwin X Zero, you do see the currencies that they are trading and some stats, but you can't download the individual trades, so you can't reverse engineer their strategy. That's a bit unfair. Number three reason why Darwin X sucks. There is a monthly fee of 38 euros, which gives you access to $100,000 in simulated capital. If you compare that to FTMO, their 100K challenge is 540 euros which is equivalent to 14 months of a Darwin X Zero membership. Come on, I don't want to fork out 540 euros. This cheap subscription cancel anytime plan does not work for me. Number four reason why Darwin X sucks. Correlation. So most prop firms, when they accuse you of copy trading, they usually don't provide solid proof or they'll quote some random trades that are totally different to you. Um, and, and then they'll just deny your payouts, they ban you or restart your challenge. So Darwin X Zero is different. They have a 95% correlation rule. So when they detect you have the same trades as someone else, you won't be eligible for allocation if you are the lower ranked participant. Instead, they will skip the monthly fee and you can continue trading on the account for the following months. Correlation sucks. So users do need to trade their own strategies or have a portfolio of different trading robots so their account looks different to others. Number five reason why Darwin X Zero sucks. They operate in a live trading condition. So most online prop firms operate in a demo environment. And I have some strategies that only work on demo and not on live trading accounts, which means I won't be able to use those robots. I need to find strategies that actually work on a live account. Ugh. Number six, the risk engine. There is a lot of maps involved in the risk engine and they do tell you what the formulas are on their help page. I have absolutely no idea what the formulas mean. I believe it acts as a referee. So if you trade well, it will help. Otherwise it will penalize you. So personally, I don't use a high risk grid martingale expert advisors because you can get penalized. So I've had to change the expert advisors I use to more low risk swing trading. Number seven reason why Darwin X Zero sucks. You're not going to be a millionaire overnight. You've seen other influencers online claim to make huge amounts of money from prop firms. With Darwin X, you won't be rich tomorrow. So this is a hedge fund model where the profit split is 15% instead of 80%. So you do need to have a long-term mindset and think in years, not months. And their top performing trader has been trading since 2000 15 and made $818,000 in payouts with Darwin X Zero. So I'm not patient. I want my instant gratification now. Darwin X Zero sucks, don't they? I can't manipulate my results. I can't reverse engineer other people's strategies. Their monthly fee is too low and affordable. Uh, I have to make sure my strategies are unique. 
and I have to find strategies that are profitable in real trading conditions and I'm not going to be rich tomorrow. Worst of all, if you want a 20 euro off your first month's membership, use code LISA20. Ugh.